What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to episode 39 of our NASCAR Heat 5 Career Mode Series. I'm going to be short and brief about this because I have not physically tried it yet. But recently I became an ambassador for Raise Energy Drinks. So if you guys want to stop over to Raise Energy Drinks on Instagram as well as Rep Sports with two P's, R-E-P-P-Sports.com, you can use code SNUSSY, S-N-U-S-S-Y, for 15% off of your order. Let's get to it. All right, guys, we're at Talladega. Didn't qualify last, but we did qualify second last. And we are starting in P36, believe it or not. That's awesome. Hopefully we can have a repeat of Daytona because we did really freaking good at Daytona at the Daytona 500. Coming in P2, I feel like we could have won that race. I was a little frustrated because I definitely thought that that race was ours. As we're getting a little bit squirrely there. Got a little bit loose. I think we definitely have a car to be able to get up into the top 15 definitely as long as you know people get the hell out of our way and we don't become you know in the middle of four wide bumper car action here which is exactly what the hell is going on but eight laps here at Talladega today I'd really like to continue our push I'm pretty positive that we are in 11th in points right now which is it's not terrible it's not where I want to be but for our first cup series season I'm freaking stoked I am absolutely freaking stoked. Let's push Bubba, see if we can get Bubba to get on the inside here. It does not look like he's going to be able to get on the inside here. It looks like Stenhouse is actually leading this race. We are up to P32. Man, oh man. I really want to just get some freaking momentum, but Bubba keeps freaking pulling some moves on us. Swerving left and right. Now you better get on that inside lane. You better hold on to that, Bubba. Good deal. Oh man, this is this is exciting as we're getting a push from Keselowski. As much as I don't like Keselowski, I appreciate Keselowski for pushing me there. Because now we're finally able to get around Bubba with the help of the two car, 36 car of David Reagan. Tried to cut down on us, that didn't work out in his favor. Six laps to go. P26, see if we can get Boyer, give him a little bit of a push get up towards this pack a little bit better. I want to dive on the inside of him here out of two. Try to get up to Kurt. Man, we're climbing and we're climbing quick. I, I, I think we might, we might have time here in this race to potentially pull this win off. Just try to sneak under Kurt as we go four wide here, getting help from Raj Chastain. All the way up into P20. Thank you, Ross. Keep pushing. Keep pushing, baby. Here we go. Jimmy, come on, man. Cutting down on me like that. I don't have a good run just as bad as you do. We keep sliding up just a little bit in the entry to turn one. And I'm not really a fan of it because it's going to open up the door for other stuff to happen. Screw you, Lugano. We're taking P16 away from you. I really want to get up here on Ryan Priest, get underneath him, entering into three. Take away P14. We're moving, guys. We are freaking moving. Priest is going to take that spot back. I hate Logano, but hey, if you want to give me a push, bud, that's fine. Looks like we got a little bit of checking up action here. Bowman slides down. Blaney's trying to figure out what he wants to do with his life. I don't know if he's mad at me or not. Let's get into this top 10. Keep it going, keep pushing. Work with Bowman here. Stay on the inside, Bowman. Go underneath teammate Kyle Busch. We're gonna shove you up into the top five. Uh, you left the door open, man, not my fault. Not my fault, you left the door open. And we're sliding up into P freaking four. Look at this. You got myself, John Hunter Nemechek, Eric Almarola, and Corey LaJoy leading this race right now. That's pretty, pretty crazy. See if LaJoy wants to jump up with us as he does. 
three laps to go. We're going to slide down with Eric Amarola. We're going to give him a push out of two. Get in front of Corey LaJoy. We're going to slide up behind him. Give him a little bit of a push. Try to break away a little bit. And then dive in on him in turn three. And we're going to take the lead here at Talladega. This is freaking awesome. Amarillo's got a hell of a run going. LaJoy needs to come up and give me a little bit of a push. Come on, Corey. Thank you. And we are, in fact, going to lead a lap here at Talladega. Two laps to go. Now it becomes a game of holding everybody off. As we were able to actually stick it into turn one, which is awesome. Now it becomes a game of playing defense. Trying to make sure this outside lane does not get a run. Looks like it's Alex Bowman and Eric Amarola up top there. They are. They're getting one hell of a run up on that high side. We enter into turn four. Getting ready to exit. Things are going to get a little bit hectic here, guys. Everybody's going to be wanting to make a move here. Nobody's really wanting to work with LaJoy. Alex Bowman's trying to shoot up the middle. We're going to put a little bit of a block on him. Amarillo's going on the outside. We need Bowman to give us one hell of a push here. Come on. Somebody give us a push. Amarillo's really, really getting one hell of a run. I need somebody to give me a push here. Come on. Come on, somebody give me a push. Look at Kyle Busch coming in on the outside. Holy shit. We left the door open for LaJoy. LaJoy, give us a push. Come on. Ah, oh, man, I thought we were going to possibly pick up the win here at Talladega today, but I just don't know if that's going to happen. LaJoy's giving us one hell of a push. It's going to be freaking close. It's going to be close. Come on. Come on. Yes! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Talladega, baby. There we go. That was close. I want to see just how freaking close that was. We are at Dover. Starting P19. Let's get it. Starting right next to Jimmy. Everybody kind of bunched up there a little bit in the beginning. Looking to continue to rebound and continue the momentum going after a freaking nail biter at Talladega. That was awesome. I'm not going to lie to you guys. That was freaking awesome. And if you guys want a crazy side note, we have raced 10 races so far this season. Six have been win or have been won by Joe Gibbs cars. Two by me, two by Kyle, one by Denny, and one by Martin Truex. And uh, let me tell you, it has been a freaking awesome year for Joe Gibbs so far this season. That is absolutely amazing. The fact that that is that is where. Joe Gibbs is at 10 races into the season that we're absolutely freaking dominating right now. P16, we're on the hunt moving forward. Ah oh, man, that Talladega race, that was, man, that was a, that was a nail biter. That was a close one. That really was. That was awesome. That was a close freaking race, and I couldn't have wanted anything else other than that exact outcome to happen. Obviously, you want to win the race. Even if we wouldn't have won that race, the fact that it was that damn close was just freaking amazing. That was awesome. We are in P10, about ready to drop back into P11, potentially. Yep. Ooh, we just cut Jimmy off. Oh! Ooh, really had to let off there. We're going to lose a couple spots there because I was... I was a little worried that we were going to lose the car there, and you could definitely tell it was going to happen. That's the second time we've been around Jimmy in our NASCAR Heat 5 Cup Series, and I almost wiped out into the pits. It's almost the second time with Jimmy that that has happened. That, that is, whew, that was scary. Holy moly. 
I don't know it, as if we are in fact the top 10 car here today. We're going to fight for it. Definitely going to fight for it. But P14 is still not a bad gig for us right now as we are six laps into it. There goes my phone. I am flopping all over the place. All right, hang on here, guys. I had to quickly pause that, which really sucks because it was like almost mid-turn, which would have been really freaking bad. That would have been terrible going into that. I don't know if you guys can hear the kids crying in the background. Sounds like they were uh, they were just fighting downstairs. So I had to check and make sure that everything was okay. Eight laps into this race, and we are in P13. Sounds like my little boy is about ready to come up here and open the door and continue to whine. <laughs> so, P13, gotta catch Jimmy. Gotta catch Jimmy and get ourselves back up here. I am getting really, really terrible out, out of turn four. It's, it's honestly kind of horrendous. <laughs> honestly kind of horrendous. Like I said, I do not see us being a top 10 car necessarily. I know we were up in the top 10. That was okay. But also understanding that the chances of us getting back up into the top 10 are probably far-fetched for us to be able to get up into the top 10 again. He is really mad. I don't know if you guys can hear him in the background. He is extremely, extremely mad. <laughs> I think he's kicking the door. I think he is kicking the door. Oh, man, that's funny. All right, I'm going to have to pause it again and get him in here. Oh, man, I knew that was going to happen. So, this is you guys are going to laugh at this. So, as many of you guys, same situation as me. When we were kids, we had to deal with commercial breaks, right? Commercial breaks on TV. You didn't have an option, right? So, my kiddos get annoyed when they're watching like Super Jojo or Coco Melon or whatever they're watching, whenever a freaking ad comes on. Now you guys know like YouTube ads, the majority of them are like 15 seconds long. They lose their minds whenever an ad comes on. Literally lose their minds. So I put something on Disney Plus for them so then there are no ads at all. But that is what I was just dealing with. They were that upset that their TV show had an ad. And that's, I mean, it's funny, but it's, it's not. Damn it, dude. It literally keeps. All right, this is. We didn't have this problem at Talladega. We did not have this problem at Talladega. That's the place now. I'm having just a rough Dover race here, guys. I'm having a rough Dover race. And I apologize. Three laps to go. This race is almost over. I think I might have to whip out the old uh, tripod and uh, do some tripod action so it doesn't flop over like that. For some reason, the wheel keeps severely fighting me. And if Newman does that shit one more time, we're gonna launch his ass. I think I'm gonna launch his ass anyway. And to think that I was gonna race with him, that was my mindset, was that I was gonna run for Roush Fenway at the end of our Xfinity series. Because I wasn't expecting to be offered something from Joe Gibbs. But, that was my fault. That was my fault. But, one lap to go. I need to pass him for that P15 anyway, so I figured, what better way than to just to dump his ass, and if his teammate, Chris Buescher, wants some action, who is behind us, he can get some too. Come here, Ryan, 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 Ryan. Come on. Yeah. You know what? If I can pass you clean and I can hold you off, I won't wreck you. I won't wreck you. If I can keep you behind me, I'm fine with that. I am so glad that this Dover race is just about over because we got one more race to do in this this episode. But holy crap, all of our ads on a freaking TV on YouTube. All right, guys, we're at Martinsville. Try to get off to a good start here. Done shifting for now. Let's try to make our way up towards the front. We've got. There we go. Let's just get everybody out of our way right in the first two turns. Perfect. Looks like we got three of our teammates, P6 and better, right now with 
Ryan, or, uh, yeah. I'm like, I'm so baffled right now because I'm not frustrated, but. Man, kids. Martin Truex, for some reason I'm going to say Ryan Truex. Martin Truex, Kyle Busch, and Denny Hamlin in the lead. And I tell you what, the Benedetto is. He's been really freaking on this season, just being brutally honest with you guys. We are in P6, about ready to snag that P5. 20 lap race here today at Martinsville. Top five as we speak. We got Logano coming up a little bit on us. We need to get around teammate Kyle Busch and Ryan Newman to even try to give Denny a run for his money. But I think between Denny and DeBetadetto, it's just, it's their show today. Absolutely their show. And if we can pull out a top five or a top 10 here, I'll be completely okay with that. If Kyle would just get the hell out of my way, that would be fan friggin tastic. He is slowing us up so much. And uh, if we could get around him, we could get around Newman and try to make a push towards the front. But right now, it's uh, Kyle's just playing, hey, let's run on the inside. And I don't want to bump and run my teammate, but I'm half tempted to do so. Because he's just slowing us down where we're normally fast in the turn. Try to give him a little bit of a bump there to try to get him a little loose, but he was still able to bite. You guys are on the tripod, so hopefully it's not too shaky or anything like that. I'm obviously pretty much fucked if, uh, if that don't work, because if we're going to run short tracks and I can't have my camera propped up, well then how the hell am I supposed to record this stuff? But Kyle, you're pissing me off. Thank you. I did not want to just send it in on you, but... In order for me to catch these guys, especially as they start to catch lap traffic here in the next couple laps, I needed to get around you. So sorry, not sorry. I need to do what I need to do. Yes, we're teammates, but I'm on the hunt to finish well just as much as you are, man. And uh, I don't think Joe's going to be upset if uh, I push to try to get that win. Because Denny dropped to P2 to Benedetto, took the lead. Newman's in third. I'm in fourth and Kyle's in fifth. Truex is probably somewhere lingering in the top 10. We are 1.8 seconds behind Ryan Newman. We're gonna try to close that gap down. They're starting to approach up on lap traffic now. So I'm hoping that that gives me the opportunity to kind of gain up some distance here. But uh, seems to be pretty consistent with Newman, 1.8 to two seconds away. Hamlin's three seconds ahead. As soon as they start catching these guys, I'm really hoping that it slows them down quite a bit. Oh man, 10 to go. I feel like we're making some progress on Newman, just not anything crazy, because he's not in that bunch of lap traffic, but Hamlin and DiBenedetto are. I'm trying my damnedest right now to get my ass up there. It looks like DiBenedetto is somewhat clear of everybody up there and Newman's right up on Hamlin. We might actually get Hamlin on the inside within the next couple laps. Looks like they're going to be bumper to bumper right here. The Benedetto is actually stuck on that outside lane. We're definitely closing in now. Definitely freaking closing in now. But we're going to have to fight through this lap traffic just like they are. Eight to go. Get out of my way. I want that inside lane. And the 16 is just not giving it to us. I hate the fact that lap traffic, well, I guess it's it's beneficial across the board because it slows the leaders down, but it also slows us down. And if we can clear, there we go. If we can clear them, get right up on Newman and Denny. The better Dedo is right there trying to make that push. Just to try to squeak out another spot. How many laps have we got to go? Six? Six laps to go. Tell you what, I'm impressed with Benedetto this year because he is just absolutely freaking killing it right now. I think we're going to be able to take that P3 away from Newman here. Still there. All right, you're clear. If we can fight our way, I just don't know if we have enough time. If we can fight our way up into the front, that would be awesome. As Denny just got freaking 
blocked by the 38. Denny's getting side by side with the Benedetto for the lead. But guess who's right behind him? Snussy's right behind him. Newman is right on our ass. Here we go. Need to make a move. I don't want to wreck Denny, but something's got to give. Because now we're all bunched up. One through four is just all tag team together. We're going to dive it in here. Take the lead. Woo! That was a dirty move. I waited to break until almost the last second. If David Reagan would get out of our way, that would be fantastic. Denny's going to give us a run for our money. DiBenedetto fell back quite a bit. He's back in P4 now. I think we have two to go. Yep, two to go. We're in the lead. Can we win two races in this episode? That would be awesome. I know Dover was a shit show, but holy crap. If we could pull two off in one, one episode, that's going to get one hell of a momentum running for us as we continue this freaking series. White flag. Don't do anything dumb, Matt. Denny's coming and he's coming freaking fast. We need to just guard that inside lane, do what all of our teammates did to us during this race, and that's just be a dick and guard the inside lane. We're going to walk away from here with a win at Talladega and a win at freaking Martinsville. Thank you guys for watching. I'll keep you updated with where we are in the point standings. Let me just check super, super fast. Skip that. Skip that. Oh, man. Come on. Come on. Don't forget to subscribe to the freaking channel, guys. Join us on our journey to 10,000 subs. We're in seventh in points. Three wins. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.